Is it done? What? You thought I might just hang around here until that madman finds a fleshy place to stick his dagger? Fat chance of that. All right. Look, just get out of arcs. Leave it far behind and never turn back. I can't say why, but trust me, do it. Say what you like. Do what you like. My lips are sealed. If Her Majesty found out I... Oh, shite. Mikhail bites his lip in an effort to keep it from flapping further. We're both busy men. Why don't you get busy somewhere else while I stay busy here? First day at work and avoid Wogan attack. Typical.
careful. This looks like the cargo of the Peacemaker. Mordus was right. The cargo was destined for Arx. here to join the circus, hmm? Eight-legged mummies, crate dwarves, lousy children. What else would you call it? Spiders as big as your head. No, bigger. And they'll grow a baby inside you if you're not very, very, very careful. What's to tell? A noisy gang of dwarves dragged an excessively large gang of crates in, and neither one ever left. Rude. Sneaky. Oily, lousy kids dip in and out of here all the time. I ought to set out traps, see what I catch. A city and its people can be measured by the number of children in its sewer. What you doing? A little girl looks you square in the face. She doesn't smile, she doesn't frown, and she sure as hell doesn't look shy. Olivia, silly. You don't. I need to think about this. She thinks about this. Hmm. Now that you're here, can't very well leave. Suppose you told someone. Nah, that won't do. Nah, you'll just have to die. Get my troll to do it. Yeah, that's what we'll do. The troll will fix it. And then you'll be dead. Well... Maybe. We'll see. But you better be good. Hey, got any money? That painting is definitely unique. <sighs> Hello. I'll just pull it out of my hat. Thanks. Hello? 
do you say when a cat wins the dog show? It's a catastrophe. <laughs> You're fun. I like you. He's my friend. I like him too. But he has a terrible sense of humour. And he eats cats. Oh, he's not tame. He's not tame at all. I don't think so. Trolls don't like grown-ups. Anyways, I'm not in charge. Tamora's in charge. We all do what she says. Bye then. What do you call a pile of kittens? Hello. Got any more money? My daddy once said, don't go to the toilet on your own doorstep. Then my mum chased him away for going in the bedroom. Them crates belong to dwarves. We leave them alone, the crates and the dwarves. They're our friends. Pom Pom can talk to him. They're not very clever, but she says they're nice. Yeah, it's all right. That's for me to know and you to never find out. I stole it from Lord Kem's house, didn't I? And so what? I only took one of them. The other two were too heavy. Got a map. There's a pulley thing here. And then a pool with no water and a hatch in it. Easy. Yeah. No. Okay. You can have it for this much. Okay. Take the stupid paint in there. I never liked it anyway. Lucky find. It's an ambush. Of course it is.
There's enough death fog here to kill everyone in arcs. is in front of you, and before you can flinch, the point of a sharp spear draws a bead of blood from the artery in your neck. Halt! State your name! Now! Oh, for goodness sake, woman, lower your spear. That is no way to greet a guest. Isbeel, I've not known you to be so welcoming to strangers. Have I yet to disappoint your highness in matters of security? Your majesty? Do as she says. Lower your spear. Yes. Of course, my queen. Your Highness, Bloom of Duna, Flame of the Forge, I present to you the Lone Wolf, the Silver Claw, Hifan. Queen Justinia sucks in her cheeks, then offers you her unwavering hand. The Queen retracts her hand and rewards your reverence with a curt nod. An audience is granted. I am yet too intrigued to give my leave. Now tell me, Is. Why do you allow this man before me? My queen, the human specimen before you is a godwoken, a claimant to the divine throne. The queen wrinkles her face and gives Isbael a sideways glance. Isbael's red-brown eyes meet her gaze head on. Many have laid claim to Lucian's legacy, including his own inferior spawn. I presume our visitor has more than a vague title to boast of. I am consort to Her Royal Highness Justinia. It is my business to know who serves the Queen's allies and abets her enemies. You do not roam this land unnoticed, Wolf. Now, let us continue. Isbel clears her throat and continues her litany. The God Woken has proven himself a worthy combatant in the joys arena of the One. His name was on the lips of all who roamed there. I appreciate the effort in gaining the respect of one's fellow refugees. You have my attention, God Woken, if not my adulation. His triumphs as champion of Driftwood are known to all dwarves of Reaper's Coast. This title is not effortlessly earned. Yes, it seems you've proven yourself familiar with sword and source. The raucous one would not assign the honor of champion lightly. Isbel returns to her recap. She seems an endless font of knowledge. The god woke and arrogated the Lady Vengeance, the very vessel that terrorized the high seas under the Hammer's command. The Queen's eyes grow wide, and she nods appreciatively, then looks to Isbel to continue the ovations. It is good and right that you mourn the dead, Godwoken, but do not let your sorrow linger. Many a good warrior has buried his courage along with the dead. Look ahead, not behind. 
He has escaped the island prison to which the Order confined him, a feat deserving a modicum of respect. A refugee from the joy, then. Impressive. Few avoid the Magister's watchful eyes. Can this god woken declare other triumphs, Isby? I've no more of your accomplishments to announce. If I didn't know better, I'd think you almost... vain. Well, I see no reason to mince words, God Woken. You're here to die. Is Beer, whatever's gotten into you? Melodorous it may be, but this is still a court, not a gallows. Your Majesty, the God Woken is no ally, but enemy. He would throw your plans in disarray. You have worked so hard. Arx must fall to the death fog. What? Nonsense. It cannot be. Oh, but you're a clever one, God Woken, aren't you? Fine. <laughs> You've outed me. But it doesn't matter. You can't stop the death fog. The wheels are in motion. Isbeel? Shut your royal moor, Justinia. Arcs will fall and your memory writ. They will believe it was your will, your plan, your command. The royal guards unsheath their blades and point them not at Ispail, but at you. I'm afraid I can't do that. 